everyone, in this video you're about to watch, Apostle Joshua Selman describes what it means to operate in the spirit. Many times people operate more in the flesh than in the spirit. If you want to know how to operate in the spirit, watch this video and be blessed. The eyes of man was made in the similitude of water. That's why even witches try to use water to see. There is something they know. I'm not here teaching glorifying Satan, but I'm just showing you what discussing. You, you called me to talk about the realm of the spirit. Listen, listen carefully. Authority in this kingdom is based on light. Remember. And so God is bringing us to a point of spiritual illumination that by the time you share the grace, you will run home and say, now I found the key. I no longer can fear the fears that brought me here. Then you will know that there are a class of spirits called rulers of darkness. Their dominion starts when ignorance is there. I'm not just giving you some theological gibberish. I'm guiding your understanding so that we can get to a common ground. The creation of man why did god take the time to meticulously give details every time god gives details it's not for nothing study it so man was made from the dust of the earth and the spirit was put in man but there was still a problem because the spirit is not compatible with the body so there was no system of coexistence are we together now and he had to devise an interface called the mind that will give man the privilege of the duality of realms understand this now because he had to either be earthly or he had to be of heaven but god wanted both so he had to create something in man that became the connection point so that every man by default had the advantage of interacting with the realm of the spirit and the physical realm are we together so on that ground god could come to man in the cool of the day and man would not be lost are we together now on that ground he could still speak to cain where is your brother and cain could reply him am i my brother's keeper he was hearing so this man that god built is compatible in this realm on legal basis and in the realm of the spirit he also has that compatibility now this construction disturbed satan because he was watching he was already there the bible calls him that old serpent remember old age and so he was watching the the makeup of man that's why the psalmist said when i consider these things what is in man what did you what did you build so every man has the ability born again or not but based on your makeup to interact with the realm of the spirit and to interact with this realm and i will tell you why i will tell you why because god designed this realm the earth to not live without the assistance of the realm of the spirit he created this realm to be so vulnerable that it will ever depend on the realm of the spirit for its function and so if he stops man from interacting with the realm of the spirit that man will not be effective here are you are we together now so for normal function on earth the earth has to depend on the realm of the spirit like a baby depending on the mother for breast milk the mother being the realm of the spirit when satan came to tempt man satan god's goal was that man by eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now we're not going into that all that theological talk but just believe it to be a tree like you know are we together now by eating of that tree the man was supposed to continue living in that state because the tree is supposed to make you live continuously in that state that was why when man violated god's principles he stopped him because had he eaten of that tree salvation would not be possible again he would have to live in that fallen state forever are we bible students everything i'm saying is in your bible 
so we have man who has an advantage of the realm of the spirit and the physical realm so it is not unusual for you to go to bed in the night and yet you are in the room and yet you are somewhere else you call it a dream and you've never been afraid of it are we together now it's not unusual if your child comes and says daddy yesterday i i was somewhere and yet that somewhere you are to go there physically in two weeks time and yet this baby was there i hope you know that's not thoughts he was not thinking you were really there so the advantage of the realm of the spirit can take you to the past and the future it can take you to the past to correct what is there it can take you to the future to prepare you while you come this this these are these are systems of advantage that god built in man we are not just studying this just for the sake of it this is where the victory of the saints lie the average believer does not know that this realm is as helpless as it looks if the realm of the spirit does not come to assist it are we together so man is created in the image and the likeness of god and then we see man functioning he looks at the animals the bible says he named them he didn't call lion lion it's science that called lion lion he gave lion his identity that's what it means to name to name does not mean to give it a, no it means describe how it should function it was not god that made it that way it was man taking advantage of the mind of christ he could tap god didn't need to do it he had access to the mind of christ and he could reproduce what god would have done if he were there this is what dominion is about so when the bible says adam named the animals he didn't just give them physical names to call no god watched a creature he had built now taking advantage of the realm of the spirit to supply intelligence and manifesting it in the physical realm here and now now somewhere along the line that bridge and that advantage was broken and man began to struggle that was the beginning of experiment hoping to work things out in a bit to conjure things that can provide an advantage here on earth so when jesus came he now began to put things in order when he was teaching them what we call the beatitudes he got to a prayer that we know to be the lord's prayer and he said let it be done in earth as it is in heaven he's restoring the order and the pattern that it is always from the realm of the spirit to the physical realm not from the physical realm to the realm of the spirit realities that are fashioned if it ever appears in this realm it is because it exists then the bible gives us the advantage of studying the book of job and it tells us that once upon a time the sons of god were before god where in the realm of the spirit again and satan was there and had a discussion about job and came to afflict job job was quietly minding his business on earth all of a sudden tragedy began to strike why because it was finished in the realm of the spirit a discussion had happened the conclusion was over the earth was merely an instrument of execution are we together now that means the trouble does not just come uh -uh. it is prepared and calculated and your ignorance becomes your approval for it to come because light gives you the power to participate in that decision making process so that what is executed in your life here on earth is something that you participated in hold on let me not rush ahead of myself because this is where you will see the value of the word of god this thing we call the word of god you will know what the word of god does in the realm of the spirit the bible says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made why is the word of god so powerful so job is sitting and catastrophe strikes and several other things begin to happen to him and job summoned god and god began to talk to him and job 
got a big secret in chapter 42 he began to interact with the realm of the spirit praying for his friends and things began to change in his life physically to the point that the bible says the people who left him came back and they didn't just come back they brought money they were always there brothers and sisters i don't know how to tell you this but nothing just happens pastor does not just become a great man just by luck no you ask him sincerely he will tell you there were things and laws that were obeyed from the realm of the spirit when do you know the bible says from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain if he was not slain from the foundations of the earth he would not there is nothing that can happen in this realm without its manifestation this realm is only an instrument of execution what you call creation is only creation from this realm from the realm of the spirit it is mere transportation of spiritual realities that are finished let me repeat myself that what you call creation is only a word we invented to help ourselves understand what is happening here but in the realm of the spirit there's no such thing as creation all things exist including your tomorrow that your tomorrow is already a realm of the, a, a reality but your tomorrow does not yet have the things you need it is now your responsibility to put in it like a movie director editing out the things that do not line up with scripture let's pray let's pray for one minute let's pray in the spirit lord open my eyes Salabarusa segede balakato sabrandege di alahasa. Branto zozubas kede baratu salabrandege das. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please sit down. In John chapter 4 and verse 24. Jesus is having a discussion with a woman by the well. Jesus now, the son of the living God. Don't forget all the things that I've been saying. The word pastor was locked up in the realm of the spirit and a decision came about the salvation of men. But that word could not come to the earth as the word. He will violate the law of territory. So the word had to become flesh so the the search was to look for the woman that can now make that word become flesh are you seeing that and when the word became flesh he could now be born in this realm so it became legitimate god is not a man god became a man if you say god is a man every man was created either by birth or original creation so god is not a man he only became a man when you say God is a man who created him he's the creator himself God is not a man he became a man for the sake of men are we together now so now Jesus is discussing with her please give it to us let's find somewhere to pray tonight he says God is spirit this is a very powerful information already he tells you that this God you so love is spirit what does that tell you that means if you want to do any kind of business with God, you have to find a way of capturing this knowledge that God is spirit. That means it will require your spirit being alive to be able to interact with this God. God is spirit and that those who worship him must not may. If I told you are interested in this God, understand that number one he is spirit number two if you must worship him you must worship him in spirit and then in truth so god is spirit this is the first information for us to know god is spirit god is spirit the second information i wrote down here is that the realm of the spirit is a real realm with several dimensions the realm of the spirit is a real realm the realm of the spirit is not heaven if you are caught up in the realm of the spirit you think you are in another country that's when you find out that there are beings there are activities that happen it's not a lie this is in the bible we have this idea that once you are not in this realm you are in heaven no 
once you are not in this realm you are in another dimension of spiritual reality with beings with angels with demons and the law is such that whoever can access the realm of the spirit whether demonically or spiritually already has an advantage over this realm please understand that the mere fact that by whatever means you can access the realm of the spirit already you are at a position of advantage ah. are we together so the realm of the spirit is dimensional but then the bible says heaven is his throne the heaven of heavens is his throne then the earth has he made his footstool so in interacting with god we have to realize that it is not just randomly the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit activates other dimensions and other possibilities that we cannot comprehend for instance in the realm of the spirit i don't have to talk to you to understand in this realm we are limited by speech and whether visual or non-visual communications many of the things that we operate in this realm were a borrowed borrowed attributes from the realm of the spirit and sometimes these demon spirits come to people in the name of science and they they fraternize and get into this is the price of being in babylon that these spirits come and come into a covenant with you oh yes they have fraternized with people to be wealthy read your bible they have fraternized with people to be great so they come up with ideas and insight and concepts you know an average human being should not have this yet they do not give glory to god because that's the condition the spirits come to help you because they know in any case you will find help so before you find god they come as a cheap assistance fraternize with us and we will do something in your life that has not been done in any family fraternize with us and we have a way to walk you around to win an oil and gas contract and when you sit down and look at the i mean look how satan marketed this to jesus jesus he came to jesus just bow to me don't go this route bow to me and i will give you this thing i can make it easy for you that means every man there is a threshold level of growth you cannot rise beyond in the strength of the flesh that if you ever find a man on earth rise beyond that level whether a preacher whether a herbalist whether a businessman whether you are aware or not the realm of the spirit your uncommon result is already a report card that you and a spirit has had a discussion now whether that spirit is of god or not we we'll investigate it but let it be known that on this earth you cannot rise beyond certain dimensions no men are not given that strength when you understand the spirituality of life then all of a sudden you will start seeing a line connecting dots as to the happenings of people's lives listen a man does not just get up and become poor like that a family does not just get up and not make progress just like that a man does not just beat his wife just like that a wife does not just beat her husband just like that the the source of that strength requires investigation are we together now a small child does not become so audacious that he looks at his father and says i can kill you no 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 no. The, the source of that audacity has to be investigated life is spiritual a church does not just grow members don't just carry their bibles from different points and start saying let's go to the same place without knowing themselves there's no wire connecting them you don't just open a shop and everybody from everywhere decides that they want to come to you no sir no sir life is spiritual you see men moving all around and you do not know what moves them spirituality of life someone decides to help you but you show up and something about your life you are not aware of makes the person to drive you away someone promises to marry you even goes to see your parents 
and all of a sudden introduction has been done he just comes up and says i had a strange dream i can't understand that's not the first time of having a dream but because of that dream you lose out on an opportunity brothers and sisters if you understand that life is spiritual you already without even understanding the nitty gritties you are already ahead of many people in life i will never treat my life from a scientific perspective no i will never treat ministry from a scientific perspective in the realm of the spirit one plus one is not two you have to define what one is <laughs> You have to define what two is. You have to define what other factors are in the equation. We run our lives scientifically. We run our lives intellectually, sociologically, and we become victims. The book of Job is full of mysteries that open up the reality of the spirituality of life. When you look at the book of Psalms, David opened us to the spirituality of life. When you read Psalm 91, he starts by saying, He that dwells in the secret place. Question, where is that location today? Because David said, a man can dwell there. Have you found it? Where is it? Like an address. David is giving us an address where people can find safety. And he never said a police station. He that dwells somewhere, there is a place a man can stand. That you become immune he that dwells in the secret place of the most high then the second shocking thing is shall abide not under the light under the shadow what is that abide under a shadow that means your shadow has a spiritual implication this thing you look at li listen 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 I'm not talking of all this moving around you and let you fall down. That's, I'm talking of something deeper. You know physics just tells us when light is casted on an object, it creates a shadow. That's as far as you know. But the Bible says men can dwell under a man's shadow. <laughs> Do you love Jesus? We love the Bible, right? So, I mean, you are not... The way you are looking at me is as if I'm teaching heresy. It's, it's right in the Bible. Shall abide under... He gives the shadow of God a three-dimensional explanation. You can come under it. Then he says, I will say of the Lord, He is this and that and that and that. Please give it to us, Psalm 91. Let's look at it. Yes, that's the song. Your influence is all over me. Verse 2. And I will say of the Lord, He is my what? refuge and my fortress my god in him i will not trust so let's see why verse one and two is there verse three it says surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence look at all these descriptions they are description of strange things you don't see them with your optical eyes but their effects are as physical as anything verse four he shall cover thee with what stuff hold on describe a man for me with a three-dimensional shadow and has feathers somewhere in his body which part of him has feathers because he was not just speaking a parable he says he shall cover thee with his feathers <laughs> then and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield that means in the realm of the spirit truth is not an information Truth is a physical reality. It's a shield. You can hold it like I'm holding a tie. Truth is, is, is an object relatable. Are you getting something now? You will be so blessed if you pay attention to what I'm telling you. Five. This is not even this. I just want us to look at it. Just play around it. It says because of all these provisions, this is the only condition where thou shalt not be afraid because there is something called terror by night everybody say terror by night no matter how peaceful an environment is the bible says once it is night there is a mystery of darkness and terror listen the bible says we wrestle not against against flesh and blood but against principalities powers listen then it says rulers of darkness they don't they cannot rule in light 
the moment he's not talking of spiritual darkness the moment there is physical darkness is a sign they are authorized to come out like animals that can only come out in the night so the bible calls it terror by night yet it's night time people like that's why people die in the night they that drink drink in the night when you see a man drinking by seven in the morning he's, he's a stupid man already something is wrong with his life but that's a, an acute complication no many things happen to people in the night the destinies of men are exchanged by night there are men that sit down and discuss they play the destinies of men like a chess terror by night not just um, terrorism as we know are you aware that there is such provision spiritual intelligence number one life spiritual Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. Have you ever seen them? Have you ever seen an arrow living somewhere? But he said there are arrows that fly by day. Only God knows how many people it hits today. Because it flies every day. You get up and leave your house and something happens. Please pay attention to what I'm telling you. Life is spiritual. Job chapter 1. A meeting was being held in the heavenlies. Satan now comes and a conversation is engaged. Have you considered my servant Job? While they are discussing that Job is on earth, minding his business. And all of a sudden things begin to nose dive in Job's life. It's amazing how many people try to ignore the spirituality of life and expect to rise in life. It's impossible. It's impossible and more so this is africa you know we just pretend as i'm not talking of witchcraft the portals of africa are open to spirituality it doesn't matter through which force i'm just saying the portals of africa as a continent is richly open have you not heard of men walking back home and a hand slap them have, have you heard of those kind of things a real three-dimensional hand but they didn't see it you don't have to see it to feel it are we together and the person goes back and all of a sudden one of us showed me a picture of his dad yesterday half of the leg had been eaten you can literally see the bones like that half of it do you know what happened he was sleeping a mystery happened he woke up and all of a sudden that leg physically there are many things you call sicknesses. You don't even know where it came from. I'm sick. You go to the hospital. They tell you there is nothing wrong with you. They check everything. You know the doctor even says, stop coming here. You are, you are wasting our time. But you know you are not feeling fine. Are we together? Mysteries that cannot be explained. life is spiritual i learned this very early in life the spirituality of life the spirituality of ministry the spirituality of living when you know this your pursuit for god does not become you know every time you see somebody unusually zealous they just say kai this guy I'm sure you are going to be a pastor or this lady i'm sure god is already grooming you he has isolated you and is grooming you to be a pastor's wife no the key to survival is to become spiritually minded please hear what i'm saying some of our parents right now ignore this and they are paying for it dearly there are mysteries in people's families they do not ex they do not understand life is everything spiritual when jesus came his birth was spiritual everything about it now look at this for god's sake a woman is minding her business probably imagining what dress will i wear for my wedding all of a sudden a stranger just appears hail mary he didn't even say what is your name ma hail mary in other words we have been watching you your name is mary we know 
You don't have to tell anyone your name in the realm of the spirit. No, sir. No, sir. If God ever asks you what is your name, it's for a reason. I mean, it doesn't make sense for him to ask you what is your name. He wants to change it. Then that's when he will ask you. Yeah, in scripture, Saul, Paul, and all of that. But that they are asking you because they want you to supply an information. No, no, no. Are we together? Do you know? Let me teach you something. You can never see a spirit being and be the same. Whether a demon, whether an angel, you may never know what happens to you. Brothers and sisters, listen. If this is a shrine and you just run by mistake and say, oh, the wrong place, as you never will live the same. No, it's impossible. 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 You thought you ran too fast to be seen. The realm of the spirit is not like that. Please understand what I'm saying. If you know this, that you are coming for koinonia, you may be sitting outside, you will never feel bad again. Because you realize that, wow, this thing is that. It's just because we are, because of the physical comfort of maybe being inside and all of that. But it makes no difference. That's why you can be saying God is touching somebody and someone in the second overflow is flying there. You that you are close, you are now looking at ah, God, you mean you jumped me? Listen, the Holy Spirit does not move with time and distance. Mm -mm. These two factors don't exist. No, 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 no. Like you say, I have to touch you before touching you. That's physics. In the realm of the spirit, you don't do that. Are we together? Are you understanding this? So you can never see a spirit being. Anybody that tells you he has been having encounters with spirits, I think you should respect that person, whether in a negative way or positive way. That I've had some appreciable and except if, if the person is lying, if the person is telling the truth, no, you are meeting a dangerous person for good or for bad. Most of the world leaders interact with spirits. Please look at me, let me preach to you. Forget the fact that you see everybody wearing suits and going for forums. They are being advised, counseled, rebuked, directed by strange spirits. There are documentaries upon documentaries on my system. That proves to you that no man... Let me teach you something, brothers and sisters. You want to be famous? A day will come, a spirit must show up in your life to say, Alright, now that you have gotten to this level, we have to negotiate for it to go further. I give you a guarantee, 100%. If Jesus does not appear to you, an angel sent from God does not appear to you, a demon who are... Somebody... It's, see, it's like a realm. You keep rising. Nobody disturbs you, but you get to a point. They say, okay, everybody that rises from here, right now, the realm of the spirit cannot be strange to such a person. That's why you enter a business meeting. Somebody looks at you. You look at him. Two of you know yourselves. Everybody knows what he has touched or otherwise. There is a level you cannot be neutral. Believe what I'm telling you. When you see people doing some things they are doing, they have seen something. When a woman looks at you and says, I will kill you, mark my words, you better take it seriously. Either pray or stand on the confidence of what you now know. But you say, ah, this is you just, you would really die. Because, you see, let me tell you, there are too many laws that can remove your spirit from your body. Many, many laws, many laws not just death there are many spiritual laws that can separate a man's body from his spirit any of them can be manipulated to kill you you see that sickness and accident are physical expressions of the commonest laws that are used to separate people's bodies from their spirits like you skin a cow have you gone to the abattoir? You see them, they have a skill. They skin a cow. There is a mystery that can remove your spirit from your body. And many people move carelessly. And then it happens. It may happen to a car. It may happen to different things. But it is still a manifestation of this. You cannot sit on certain positions being neutral. It's impossible. I remember one of our friends years ago. He got a job and i remember him saying they were paying them them that were struggling they were paying them fifty thousand, and they were paying the prophets 1.2 
Now, if they don't call it salary, they call it honorarium, but it's still a release of something from the giver to the person who needs it. They pay you 50000 for laborious study of five, six years under the most stringent conditions possible. And somebody just throws and comes in and they give the person 1.2. You know why? Because that person has an advantage. He can do something. Hi! Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. I don't have to see you to talk to you. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. People's lives are being manipulated without their will. Life is spiritual. Many of us were born in pure Christian families. We never had any touch with idolatry. So you don't understand the spirituality of life. But for a few people who veered off here and there, did one or two things. Life is spiritual. Grandparents just come out and sit on the ground. And after a few minutes, they stand up. They say, it's all right. It will be well with you. Go. And you are saying, what did they see? Life is spiritual. In the Bible, before they fought wars, they will go and ask the kings and prophets, please, will we win? And then they will say, there's trouble. And then they will say, how can we change it? Now, this is the part of spirituality that shocks me. The ability to change things. Change things by the Spirit. Like a cleaner. I look and I find out that this is supposed to happen. Then you clean it as if there's nothing there. Habba. Oh, you were supposed to die tomorrow. Then somebody just cleans it. What advantage do you have? Do you understand that your life is spiritual? When you sit down in that class, do you know that it's not just one person sitting down? Life is spiritual. Now, the, it's not to just make us irresponsible and just see demons in everything. When I talk of the spirituality of life, I'm not just talking about demons. I'm talking about the presence of spirits to guarantee anything happening. You, the concept of being an atheist is another class of deception. Life is very spiritual. You see a lot of people come to dig a well. After they dig a well, the water comes out. They will tell you, go and look for chicken. Has that happened to you? Go and look for chicken. They slaughter the chicken and make incantations in the well and the water will never stop coming. Think about that. Do you know the water on earth is older than everybody on earth now? I hope you know that. The water on earth is older than everybody on earth. You are not drinking a person. You are not drinking a substance. You are drinking history. This was only bottled. Only God knows who laid hands on this water. Could it be part of Noah's flood? Could it be? You just know you are just swallowing it and then your body just reacts. You take something and all of a sudden your body reacts. I'm comfortable. Koinonia, listen, listen, listen. Let me teach you these things. If you do not understand it, don't be great. Just get a one-room apartment, get married, have two or three children, be a kingdom financier, and wait for the day you'll be with the Lord. But that you want to rise in this world we live in, 